Design Pack's product blocks are a great way to upgrade your product page, and they're good enough on their own. But what makes them really great is that they combine really well with Shopify's new meta fields and meta objects. And we've realized that it's not that easy to create these things on your own. It's sort of hard to know exactly where to start and it takes some time. So we've added a one-click meta object option. So if you go to each section, you'll see a one-click meta object button. And if you click on it, it will open up this modal. Now, we explain here that clicking here will automatically create the meta object definition. And it will also create the meta field that connects the meta object to each product. So there's a two-step process with meta objects where you have the meta object itself, and then it's related to the product through a meta field. So if we can click right now, you'll see that once this screen pops up, this is how you know that the meta object has been created. In this case, the image with text meta object has been created, and we've created this notification because you can delete this from the app. However, you have to know that once you've added all the data and related entries to the meta object, if you delete it, all that data is going to be deleted as well. So we just wanted to make it very clear. It's not a good idea unless you really want to. Now to really get started, what we want to do is create a new meta object entry. So once we click here, you can see all of these options are available. If we go to the theme editor and add the image with tech app block here, I'm going to pull it up above the quantity selector and we open up the options. You can see that all of these elements that have connect dynamic source have a related field in the meta object. Now, just because all of the fields aren't here, don't mean that we have to utilize them all. They're just available if we need to. If we go back to the theme editor, we can change all of the settings that are going to be the same across every product. So for instance, I'm going to change the image size. I mean, we don't have an image here right now, but I'm going to take that down to 120. I'm going to change the text and heading color. And I'm going to remove the border so that we don't have a border. Um, and I'm going to take the inner padding down to 15. Now, one thing that you can notice that if you have the same padding across all sides, you can just put it once. Oh, and I'm going to take the text size down to 85%. Okay, so now these are all our universal settings for every single product. So now for each product, I'm going to add the elements that are going to be different per product. So we're going to start with an image and the heading, some text. I'm just using warm ipsum, the button label, a button link. I'm just using any link, the button background color, and the regular background color. So these are the elements that are going to be different per product. Another thing that I'm going to do, change the handle. This will make it easier for management purposes. So I'm going to name it by the heading so that later when we're using these, it'll be easier to remember what information is in each. And then I'm going to add another entry. Now you can see from here that this is an app owned meta object and we've named it image with text to correspond to the product block that it matches to. And as you can see, I've changed the handles here and so they show up as these names. But for this one, I forgot to change the handle. So it's showing up as this random image with text, but then it has just these random letters and numbers. And obviously like right now you can kind of remember, but if you end up having a lot of these, you're not going to remember. So I always recommend going back and changing the handle. And just to note that you can't have any spaces. So you just use a dash instead of a space if you want to break up the words. So fresh made movie. And I save here. Now if I go back here, see it, it kind of humanizes it here in the name for you, but then you'll be able to identify them when you go and add them. So that's what we'll do now. 
And you can see that this is the definition. And so when you go here, you can see all of the entries made. So we've made four. And so if we go to the product, see, so I'll go to oranges. And you can see here that the image with text meta field is already here. And it says use with image with text design pack product blocks. And then you can select the entry. So it already knows that it's looking for these specific meta objects, even if you have other meta objects in your store. And so I'm just going to connect this one and then save. Now that we have the meta objects created and the entries created and then connected via the meta field to the product, we can go back to our theme editor and you can see if we go back to oranges, this is what we have so far. So we go in here and first thing we're going to do is connect all of the dynamic sources. Now we're going to connect the image. So we go, we see this. Now sometimes it might be on a different thing here. So you might have to make sure it's always product right here. Then you go image with text and then it'll say image because that's the only relevant dynamic data. And now you can see that image shows up here. The heading, again, image with text, heading. Then the text, just delete what's there and connect image with text, text. The button, image with text button label. The link. image with text button link. So here, the heading and the text and the button label are going to be the same for every single product. So we don't have to connect dynamic data to them, but we are going to change the button background, button background color, and we are going to change the background color. So background color. And now you can see that here we see this thing that's set up based on the data that's in the meta object. But the great thing is if we go to avocado, now you can see that this is here. And if we go to cherries, you can see this is here. And if you go to pears, you can see this is here. But if we go to the other oranges, you can see that there's no content for here because we haven't added a meta object to the meta field for that particular pro product. But the other thing I noticed is that the avocado doesn't have a background. So we're just going to go back and look here and see what happens. Oh, see? I accidentally changed this to the border color relative. Well, so we can just go back in, change this, save this. And when we refresh, it sometimes takes a moment for the meta fields to update. So if we just maybe wait another minute. Now you can see that it's been updated. So now each product has its own unique color and content for this badge. So it just creates more dynamic and more relevant information per product. And if we have something without the information, it just doesn't show up. Now here is just a notice to you in the theme editor, but if we actually go to the, what it looks like on the live site, you can see here, here, and now it's changed. But if we go to the orange slices, it just doesn't show up at all. So this is what the user will see. And we just notify you in the back end because it could get confusing if for some reason just something's not there. In this case, you'll know like, oh, we don't, we just don't have a meta object set up for that product. But the other good thing about meta objects is that you can reuse the meta object. So say you have multiple objects that have the same information that you want to share on that product page. You don't have to make it every single time. So what we can do is we can go back to the product and go to the, the orange slices and where the image with text is, we can go here and we can select an entry. So we're going to select the cold pressed juices for this one as well. Save that. And then go back here again, takes a second. And now you can see this is for this one and for the orange slices, but the rest remain the same. So this is in the way why meta objects are a bit better than meta fields alone, because 
they first of all clump the information into like a manageable thing that connects specifically to a section or a block on the page, which just makes it easier mentally to manage, but they can also be reused. So if you have a ton of products, but say five different variations, you just have to make those five meta objects and you can add those meta objects to any of the products.